With the conclusion of another horror theater presentation, we sign off until tomorrow. Good night. Greetings once again, and welcome to Creepy Ghoul Vision. I am Creepy Ghoul, your host. So today, I've got another nuclear war now unboxing for you guys. Here it is right here. Got two unboxings for you guys, so let's get to it right now. Okay, so I got a few more Nuclear War Now packages coming in the mail, uh, but these two were the most recent ones that came in. And again, like I said, I was kicking myself for not ordering from these guys a hell of a lot sooner, because uh, I probably missed out on a lot of great shit, that's for sure. Got some really good shit here I'm going to share with you guys. So let's get to it. First unboxing. Let's do it up. Took almost uh, a month to get in. Um, so this is like the second package I've gotten in from them. And again, from California to Toronto, man, I'm telling you, I didn't think it was gonna take that long. But yeah, you're looking at about a month's wait. Holy crap, depending on where you are, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, okay, here we go. Got a whole bunch of maggots in here. I hate these freaking maggots. Oh. Okay, so let's uh, dig out some of these uh, records here. There's only a couple in this one. And um, the one thing is, um, I, can't, I can't remember his name. It's a Japanese name, and even if I could remember it, I probably couldn't pronounce it. Uh, but it's the dude that runs Nuclear War now, the record label. Um, you know, it's a great, 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 great record label. And um, he does his updates quite often. And and, uh, and a lot of times his updates are really hard to keep up with, I got to admit. Um, I do check frequently, like every day or every other day type of thing. And I'm constantly finding shit like, oh man, I've got to have that, got to have that, got to have that. But anyhow, check it out. So let's see what we got today. Um, so we included a flyer postcard here. Uh, check out the postcard. I am unfamiliar with this band, but that doesn't really matter. There's a Verathron um, album here. And this one's, uh, yeah, His Majesty of the Swamp. Um, and Warl... Plurge. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that Verathron album, but you know what it is. Verathron's an amazing Greek black metal band. <laughs> oh, Allergy City. Um, I just recently uh, got their uh, pretty much a discography on a, in a cassette box set. If you saw one of my previous videos from uh, Hell's Headbangers. But anyhow, a yeah, great fucking band right here. Okay, so let's see what we got. I ordered a couple um, on a on an update, and here they are right here. So the first one, let's check it out. Is there it is right there? Hooked on Metal by Acid, the actual LP. Okay, and this contains a lot of. Uh, if you can see the track listing there, photo of the band. This contains a lot of demo material and a lot of us uh, um, seven-incher material. Okay, so let's check out the gatefold. There's the gatefold right there. Really cool pick of the band. Acid, acid, great, great, great metal band from uh, Belgium. Uh, fronted by a female vocalist. Uh, she's not only hot, but she sounds great too. Here's the poster that uh, comes with it. Oh wow, really old school. Old school flyer, 
upholster, I guess. That's pretty cool. And again, I'm not one of those kind of guys or collectors that would uh, put the poster up. Um, I wish I was that guy, but I'm not. Uh, the poster stays with the release right there. Okay, so let's check out the wax. It is yellow wax. Piss yellow wax. There we go right there. Look how clean that is, seriously. Look how clean that is. There we go. Acid. Acid. One album I'm actually looking for um, from Acid is the uh, Live in Belgium uh, LP. And I'll take that on any format. LP, CD, cassette, whatever. Preferably LP. Uh, it's got a hot picture of her on the uh, front. Um in her outfit, leotard and cape type of thing. You know the album I'm talking about. But anyhow, it's a hard album to find. But yeah, this one had to have it to complete my acid uh, collection. Uh, demo material, seven inch material, and unreleased 12 inch material. There it is right there. All right. So the next one I got, holy fuck. This was the reason I did this small order. And I don't like ordering just one thing, I gotta have at least two type of thing um, to make the shipping even more worthwhile, if you know what I mean. Um, so this was the reason I, I, I placed this order really quick, fast, in a hurry. Had to, before this was gone. Because I've been wanting this for years upon years upon years upon years upon years now. And looks like I finally got it. By Destroyer 666 Unchain the Fricking Wolves LP. I saw these guys in Toronto many years back. Um, and uh, the show was kind of sort of like a blur, as uh, a lot of shows have been. But anyhow, um, I. <laughs> It was a good show, I guess. I don't know. I saw them from a distance. Classic black wax. It doesn't get any more true than that. Or real. Or honest. Than a classic black. Okay? Destroyer 666. This has got to be their best work here, man. I'm telling you. I like a lot of Destroyer 666. Uh, this is like my favorite release, um, and probably a lot of your favorite release as well. Um, the Unchain the Wolves album, this is just like, holy hell, absolutely devastating. Every track on this LP is just absolutely devastating. Um, old school black metal, if that's what you want to call it, sure. Um, really good shit. Really, really good shit. Alright, so Unchain the Wolves by Destroyer 666. From Australia. Australia, there we go. There's the back of the album. Who put this one out? I'm curious. Um, Van Record, no, Van? Van Records. Okay, interesting. Never heard of them, but it doesn't really matter. Here it is right here. Finally got my hands on it. Now, my motto as a collector, uh, a collector of anything really, if you're willing to wait, it'll come around. And that it did. Okay, so... That was the first unboxing from Nuclear War Now! Okay, so here's the second one. This box is a little heavier. So let's check it out. Let's, uh, let's rip right into it. Let's see what we've got. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is probably the second order I ever did from Nuclear War Now. That was the third that I just unboxed. But it arrived sooner than this one because it was a lot lighter, I'm guessing. Like, I don't know how the Canadian or the U.S. Postal Service works. Um, I think uh, both uh, postal services equally suck. But it is what it is. And, um... Ugh. 
nevertheless, I mean, where you are, I mean, you might get it sooner, you might get it later. I'm here in Toronto. This label's from California. Uh, on average, from what I find, from what I found, this is the uh, fourth package I've ever received from Nuclear War now, and uh, I'm looking at a month before I get it, pretty much a month. But whatever. I mean, there we go. There, there are uh, maggots. So let's uh, dig out the uh, the goods right here. Their packaging is really good too. I gotta hand it to them. Packaging is like wow, good shit. Uh, what else? What else? There's some uh, flyers or sorry, um, postcards. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, so let's get to it. Here we go, right here. Let's see what we got. Okay, so it's a, pretty much the same flyer as I got uh, before, the same postcards I got before. Uh, this one's a little different. This one's the Vixen uh, LP. It's not the Vixen from the 80s, but another Vixen band. Uh, I'm going to give these guys a listen. Um, she looks rather interesting. Uh, and on the other side, we've got something from Caligari Records. Uh, I've never heard of them, but uh, yeah. There we go. Love postcards. Love paper collectibles in general. You know what I mean? I love when record labels throw in this shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, on my last Nuclear War Now, um, the ones before this, I got some Beharit postcards. And I mean, that. love Beharit. Okay, anyway, so let's get to it. So here we go. So the first LP I got uh, in this order was the Carpathian Forest through Chasm Caves and Titan Woods. Now, I have an early pressing of this with the pink, um, I think, I think I do actually, I, I have the CD and I have an early LP pressing of it from another label. Um, so now I, I this is a, a terrific EP, man. It's a dark, old school atmospheric EP, had to have it. Um, I wanted to order it again. This is gonna act as my playing copy. There's Nata Frost right there. From Carpathian Forest. Uh, very extremely early release. Uh, this is a great EP, complete with lyrics. Interesting. Yeah. Um, this is going to act as my playing copy um, because, I, like I said, I do have an earlier pressing of it, which I'm going to keep on the shelf for collection purposes. So let's check this out. So, inside, oh, well, that's interesting. I forgot, actually, Peaceville put this one out, so I got the Peaceville catalog, which is included here. Love catalogs, love them, and, uh, oh, there it is right there. Okay, so that's the jacket, nothing else in the jacket, so there's the uh, sleeve right there, the record sleeve right there, on the back, and it's on, ooh, static still remains as it's a virgin record. There's classic black wax. Honest, true, no bullshit. There we go right there. Doesn't get any more real than that, that's for sure. Okay. Through Chasm Caves and Titan Woods. Great fucking album. I'm gonna spin this one tonight. Okay, the second thing, the second release I got was the Passage, pa sorry, Passage to Arturo by Rotting Christ, the standalone LP. I never had the standalone LP. I have this on a few other formats, but uh, never a standalone LP. And I really, really wanted this, uh, this gem, uh, this piece of black metal, Greek black metal history at that. And uh, here's the inside. Look at that. Love that. Love it, love it, and it's a little, it's a, it's a little booklet, or a gatefold booklet, it's a few more pages, am I right? No, it's a gatefold booklet actually, pictures and uh, um, I believe that's uh, some excerpts or an interview with the band, I believe, yep, yes it is an interview with the band, some flyers and stuff, great release, Passage to Arturo, man, I'm telling you, early rotting Christ. A lot of people don't know, but Rotting Christ started out, uh, the, probably the very first release was a 7-incher, as a crust punk band. If you heard this band, you'd be like, okay, that's a crust punk band. 
Um, that release is probably super rare and hard to find. I'd love to get my hands on it though. Um, again, classic black. Okay, there we go. Passage to Arturo. Mystical as all fuck. I'm telling you, this is a great, great, great release. No question about it. Okay, so the next one I got was, let's go to this one actually. I finally got it, okay? I got it. Despite what the reviews say on Discogs, who gives a fuck, okay? Um, I got the Hen House uh, recordings by Mayhem, the true Mayhem. This was the legendary classic rehearsal with Dead and Euronymous, um, Necro Butcher and Hellhammer in the Hen House. Uh, let's have a look at it. Uh, oh, there's a sticker right there, okay. Let's see a zoom in on the sticker there. I don't know how well you can uh, read that. Now, on Discogs, uh, one of the reviews gave Peace still a lot of heat on releasing this, saying it was a cash grab. May have been a cash grab, who knows, who cares? I mean, um, this band should be celebrated, seriously. Mayhem, probably the greatest black metal band ever. Um, one of my favorites. Um, all the classics are there, you know them. This album is, I would probably have to say, almost unlistenable if you don't know the songs. Um, and again, you got a Peaceville catalog there, which is cool. I love the catalogs. And the insert is um, just a photo of probably their jam space and uh, film negatives, I guess, photos of the actual rehearsal with them. And it's recorded on classic black wax once again. How, do you, how are you going to go wrong with that? Um, this, this, this recording has been bootlegged to death. Um, on every format imaginable. Um, this is not, if you're just getting into Mayhem, don't listen to this. If you don't know the Mayhem, the early Mayhem songs, don't bother with this, honestly. If you do know the Mayhem songs, well, yeah, this is, uh, if you're, and you're a Mayhem completist of Dead and Euronymous uh, recordings, then definitely this would be the album for you as it is for me. And I'm really happy to finally have a copy of it. Um, so yeah, I will definitely uh, play this uh, proudly, and that's a, it's a welcome addition into my Dead and Euronymous uh, Mayhem recording collection. So there you go. The Hen House recordings, the legendary Hen House recordings on Peaceville Records. There you go. Okay, so I got two more for you. Uh, the first one is the dissection, sorry, into the somber lane, classic album, an essential piece of black metal history right here. I have the CD um, from the old days, and okay, so let's uh, let's get into this one. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so this one here, I got. There's the back of it right there. I don't know how well you're gonna see it, but uh, it's pretty dark the back of the album front now I'm not sure why they didn't use the original artwork uh, probably licensing issues or something who knows or copyright issues I have no idea um, but it doesn't matter classic fucking album this version comes with a record slip mat and that's some of the original art right there the carriage and horses uh, cool slip mat Again, that's probably going to stay with the record because I got another slip mat on my turntable right now. Um, here's the sleeve right here. Okay, I don't know how well you're going to see that in the glare, but it's got the same imagery that's on the slip mat. And the LP. Oh, holy hell! Look at that. Okay, so on the first side, it's got the music. But look at that, eh? It's etched. Second side. How sick is that? Love it. Love it, love it. Mind you, it's a double LP. And uh, a lot of the songs on here are pretty long. Hence the double vinyl. Or the double LP, sorry. Um, 
This is the front of the uh, second LP, or the first, maybe I got them backwards. And let's check out the wax on this one. Okay, so yeah, this is a full um, recorded both sides LP. There we go. The Somber Lane. This is essential dissection. Seriously. Limited 2LP edition, one side etched black vinyls, including exclusive slip mat. Very unusual for a black metal release, no question, but I mean, great, great album. I highly recommend you listening to this. The Somber Lane by Dissection. Great, great, great album. Great, great album. And check out John's uh, side project too. I showcased it in a previous video called The Black. The album's called The Priest of Satan. Every fucking track delivers. Hard to find record too. Okay, so last but not least, we have, we have Marduk's Dark Endless. Now again, wondering about the artwork on this one. I mean, uh, I don't know if they had licensing issues or whatever with the artist, but that ain't the original artwork. I believe Dark Endless had, uh, it was just like a weird picture of like, a hall or something like that with an eyeball or something to that effect. I have the original CD from way back when, but um, there's the black LP. And I just recently got those of the Unlight. You may have seen it in one of my previous videos, but this is Dark Endless. And it's still sealed, so I'm not going to bother opening it just right now. But I will eventually, because I do want to listen to this on, uh, on LP. So there we go. Marduk's Dark Endless. Uh, first album... Um, listen to this and those of the Unlight first and second albums deliver man I'm telling you this was the shit and I saw Marduk play in Toronto many years ago many many years ago great show by those guys I'm telling you um, some of it was a blur but um, no cool show from what I remembered anyhow that was my Hell's Head uh, sorry <laughs> I'm so used to Hell's Headbangers that was my Nuclear War Now unboxing. I got a few more uh, Nuclear War Now packages coming in the mail. Um, so stay tuned for those unboxings as well. This is Creepy Ghoul uh, on Creepy Ghoul Vision. Like, share, and subscribe. Give me a couple thumbs up, will ya? And uh, if you like the video, and we'll see you on the next video, guys. All right? Let's see. No. Uh, won't let me do it with the knife. Blue.